And hello everybody, welcome back your faces to the Minecraft Project. I am your host as always, Kenneth Aplor. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. Uh, there's a lot of things to show you, so you might want to pause your video. Oh, you're not going to pause your video? Okay, let's just keep going then. We have a new texture pack I want to show you. It's called Miku Miku Dance. And yes, I do have the little thing. There it is. Gold font. Minecraft. I borrowed that Minecraft thing from the SketchUp thing. It just seems so sophisticated, you know? All in gold. In fact, this has been gold-oriented, uh, so... Let's go on to our Don't Never Stop Imagining world, and let's get started. As you can see, it is raining where I am. Take a look around you, you can see all the textures are different. We'll get to them as we go along. But first, let's go to a new place we've constructed in time, in space, called the Gem Plains. And I picked a bad time to do this, because it's raining. Let's... There we go. Clear the weather for now. Okay. Now we go to the Fire Reaches. This is a new little place called um, the Gem Plains. And it's way off in the distance, so. Uh, Travel to Iglandu and the Gem Plains. Here's that graveyard. And then to the Gem Plains. Here we are in the Gem Plains. Notice it's very wintry up here. And as you can see, we got lots of gems up here. There, look, there's gold, there's iron, there's coal. More iron, more gold, and a little bit of diamond here and there. So yeah, this is why it's called the Gem Plains, because you can see almost every type of diamonds on here. I've been doing a little excavating. <laughs> okay, that's an understatement. I did a lot of excavating. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Cow. That was a nice little bounce I did right there. Anyway, to enter this area, you go through here. You might recognize this from the Kingdom Hearts thing. The Kingdom Hearts uh, pack, the adventure map. This is the stairwell to the Altar of Naught, if you remember it. You might have not heard of it, but anyway, this is that thing. <laughs> if you never heard of Kingdom Hearts, you have to play it sometime. I don't... Otherwise, all of these things won't make any sense. There's the Adaika statue. You keep seeing it, it's like a little easter egg. You keep seeing it, but you don't know where it's, why it's there for, just because. You know, you never have enough statues in your, in your park, in your whatever you're doing. Okay, that's the gym planes. Now, let's go underground. To the cave system, where everything is Lord of the Ringsy. You can now even see that I have a golden axe. It melts the very rock. I have never seen such power. Oh, have you seen this portal thing? It changes it to green. Check it out. I have an interesting portal. I got that for a gift. So, don't tell anybody. <laughs> There's that score machine. I was planning to make this an adventure map so it would be more entertaining, but no, I just I just keep on building, you know. You can never stop building. It's like kind of like Legos, only better. <laughs> you have an unlimited amount. And, oh, yeah, I should probably tell you about this, too. 
Uh, this is a four-way house. See, this is one story, this is another story, this is another story, and they're all connected to make one big house, but instead of just being in the riddle here, we could let the path go on through and let them be divided by such. Let's take a look up, up above, shall we? So this is what it's like on the second level. As you can see, it's all indicated by nether fences. Let's go up even further. This is the third floor, where you can put your chests and stuff. Yeah, this is meant to be like a secondary castle or something, but it's very simple. You Although, you need to repair it, like, lots, because it's, like, a, not what you want, want, I guess, maybe? I don't know. It's just my style. I, I, de I designed that on a piece of paper. <laughs> There's the fountain. And here we go, underground! <laughs> oh, man, I haven't done voiceover in a long time. Let's see if I can do Saruman. You've conspired with these creatures. For that you shall pay. Yep, I can still get it. Oop. That fell a little bit away, but as you can see, check this out. I was in a very Lord of the Rings mood because when I created this because these are the This is the city of Dwarzeldorf, as I believe it's called. Dwarzeldorf. Maybe I'm mispronouncing that. All you absolute Lord of the Rings nerds will know what I'm talking about. Dumbledore or something like that. Here is it in large. This is the real Dumbledore city. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Anyway, yeah, very classy. Of course, this would be the main attraction, but, uh... Then I'd say you're wrong. This is not the main attraction. Well, okay, maybe it is. Maybe for you guys it is the main attraction. Look at these textures, man. These are absolutely epic. These are actually from the Walls of Moria, those little textures. Yeah, so I thought that'd be really neat to do. Let's continue with our axe, shall we? That's because I got his axe and his nervous system. <laughs> Excuse me. I am totally impolite. I shall have to meet that out later, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we keep, we see that we... Uh, this is all done in survival mode. I did not use cheats to go th through this. This is actually what I've constructed so far. These little paths underground. Kind of look like a little maze of rock. They actually did it at the time. Rock. It melts the very rock. I have never seen such power. For those of you Lord of the Rings fans. Here's something weird. A forward down staircase. Let's take a look at it from a down angle. What in the world? Why would I ever want to do that? Because it just looks interesting, you know? Hey, tell me you didn't want to do the same. This just looks very interesting and very aerodynamic and very art. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it begins with an A. Archaeology. Archaeology. Arch something. <laughs> you guys can correct me on my YouTube skills. I am doing terrible. <laughs> Anyway, this this next one, which goes all the way down, but goes all different directions. There, there's like stairways going in all different directions, like a tesseract of stuff. I've shown you the tesseract, right? 
I don't even remember you sh showing you the Tesseract, but type in if you have seen the Tesseract, then I can know if you have seen it or not. That's where that one ends. haven't really continued from there, but I should probably get going on that, maybe. Who knows? When I'm in the mood, maybe, I guess. I was thinking about this being the grand entrance to something or, so or somewhat. This goes all the way down, this one goes right, this one goes left. This one goes all the way down to the floor, and this is where the gem thing I started to experiment on, and so I could, you know, grab a few resources. I wonder what happened to the diagonal city. Everything is diagonal, not square. I wonder if I del I must have deleted it when I was doing the city of Dwarzeldorf or whatever it's called. Okay, I'm just going to stop saying that now because apparently I'm going to be saying it wrong for the next few minutes. <laughs> okay. We're not even seeing this right. Game rule survival. There we go. Now we're seeing this the right way. I'm in peaceful mode. Heck, why not? There's another one of those classic dwarven cities. Look at all that, Kramer. Cobblestone. I know how much you love cobblestone, and that's the real stuff right there. <laughs> Kramer, I know I'm not going to be good as you, but I hope to be on that level. At least somewhat. There are, like, a bunch of elite crafters out there, and elite, um... Builders, and I know I'm not going to be one of them, but one day maybe, I just might be as good as Dan TDM, Dewberry Pie, Kramer, whoever it might be. I just hope to be on that level. So, spread your support. Comment below. See if you want to have more videos of this. And if you like and see and would like to see more, please leave a like. And of course, as always, subscribe if you don't want to miss a single video. I don't know why you want to in the first place, probably because you're bored of your mind and you want to do some minecrafting yourself. I don't want to hold your go. Just craft already. I don't... <laughs> anyway, that is today's um, that is today's viewer. If viewings of places that I've created in the last uh, year actually. I haven't done played this in a quite a, some time now because I've been doing busy stuff with texture packs and other stuff that I won't bother to tell you about. But uh, this, this is the cake right here. This is where it's at. This is where it all happens underground. This is where all the crafting, all the building, all if it comes from. So I might as well make it, make the caves a little bit more scenic than they should be. And that's what I have done here. So let's go back up, see if there's anything we might have missed, even though we've probably explored everything now. Up, up, up. Might as well put this away. This is my random hopper system that doesn't work. No matter what they say, the vanilla ones never work. I'm going for my five. Ooh, is that thunder I just heard? That was thunder I just heard. So. Look at all that stone. Just put it all back. And see, I put some dirt down here so I can grow some trees so I wouldn't have to keep going up for trees. And I put some cows down here too, that would work. Actually, I just use creative mode 
That was the cheat I only used. That was the only cheat I used, I swear. Other than that, everything you see here is basically made from MC Edit. Except for the little bricks down here, the little path. Lord of the Rings path. Yeah, it's very epic. If I just listen myself, the new texture pack is. I don't know if you've seen him. So, I've been, like, doing a lot of... It's raining outside again. <sighs> I'm gonna finish my... What I'm gonna say down here. Okay, what I was gonna say... I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> this is the strangest thing. I always forget what I was going to say. And then I have to go back, track, and go say it. Oh, well. I always have the option to edit. <clears throat> oh. I must have made, like, a lot of texture packs while that was great. There was... Miku Miku Dance, which is this one, then I'm making a new Google Earth one, which features all the little scenes you might see from Earth or from the satellite image. This is all anime stuff. At the uh, SketchUp is all SketchUp based and Yeah, you can see common themes that I'm trying to draw out here. Tron and then this thing. This is really epic. I improved upon the fuel feeding system over here. Instead of just the one little bar, you have now like four little bars that tell you which one needs to be filled up now. So all of them look pretty good right now. There's a little, little glow stones that make them possible. Here is the food for thought thing with the scarecrow. Here's the amount of incense that keeps on burning, and now I'm stuck. I didn't think I was going to make it there for a second. Give me number, 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 number. <laughs> There's an iron fence. There's an actual iron fence right there, so yeah. Just get in here and get away from worrying. Hello, Chicky. I named him Chicky. And right now we're down in the basement, and I think we should end our adventure here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you like it. I hope you were inspired by building some more stuff, and I really hope I didn't keep you. <laughs> what kind of morons are you watching a YouTube video when you can be doing it there, doing it yourself? <laughs> I'm kidding. You're not morons. I'm the moron. I'm the one wasting my time showing you. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding again. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Good. Wait, I'm not doing this right. Good. Boy. Whoa. I'm a girl. How did that happen? Oh my goodness. I'm uh, I'm a little exposed here. Um, I'll um, yeah. <laughs> see you in my next video. <laughs>